If you've been wondering which is better for you, the Plies Reformer or the Plies Chair, this video is for you. Today I'm going to talk about the Reformer, the One to Chair, and my favorite ones for you to use at your house and how best to use them for your practice. Hi, I'm Leslie Logan, co-founder of OnlinePliesClasses.com, and I've been teaching Plies since 2008. My teacher was one of Joseph Plies' clients, and so I love to talk about all my favorite things about the equipment and how it came about, so I can't wait to share it with you. So why should we use applies equipment anyways? I mean, the reality is, is that he did create the mat and the mat is something we can do anywhere we are, wherever we are, right? Yes. <laughs> and also he realized really quickly that people had a hard time doing the mat. We are disconnected in a lot of places. We have imbalances. And so he created the equipment like the reformer, Cadillac, one a chair and all the other things to help us get those connections. So we can apply them to the mat. Today, we're just talking about the Reformer and the window chair. However, if you wanna talk about the Reformer and the Tower Cadillac, we have a video for you and explains all the differences and which one you should be using. Welcome to OnlinePilatesClasses.com, the most supportive Pilates loving community across the globe. Enjoy new weekly classes for our amazing teachers. Download the OnlinePilatesClasses.com app today. All right, so let's talk about the Pilates Reformer. Really, it's just called the Reformer when you're in a, in a Pilates practice and it looks like sort of like a half bed <laughs> with a foot bar and handles and shoulder blocks. It has springs and it really allows you to close the chain. What that means is like your feet are usually touching something, your hands are touching something, and then you have the support of the spring. So you can repeat a lot of the same movements you would on the mat, but using some support from springs, foot bar, straps, to help you get into it. You don't always lie down. Oftentimes you're sitting, you could be kneeling. There's even standing exercises on it. The more advanced your practice gets, the more different planes your body goes through as you use it. The reason to use it, the benefits are that it actually is really supportive and it really does allow you to kind of understand your body and get feedback. Whereas on the mat, you won't have that feedback. So let's talk about a reformer for your house. Reformers typically range between 80 inches and 91 inches. There are some that are a little bit longer. There's even some that have been built for children that are a little shorter, but that's typically your average length of a reformer. The width is about, I'd say like two feet, could be wider. There are some that do that. So they do take a significant space. Yes, there are some that actually go under a bed or there are some that people try to sell it fold up. When you get to those compact ones, you're actually losing a lot of, of the support and sturdiness and some of the other uh, things you'd use for the reformer. So the standard ones that I like people to get are gonna be between that 80 and 91 inches. Now the cost, there are going to be some reformers you're gonna find under $1,000, but you're looking between 1,100, about 5,000, maybe more dollars, especially if you get one with a tower attachment on it. So they are a significant cost and a, they take up some space, but you know what? You don't need that couch anyways, do you? <laughs> now, my favorite reformer is gonna be the Contrology reformer at 80 inches. If you are under 6'3", it's totally a great size for you. If you are going to be taller than that, then you might wanna look at their 86 inch one. The reason I like the Contrology is it's most like what Joe Supplies created and the way the springs are really there to support you. It's got a lot of great things going on. However, I've got the link below for that reformer and also all the reformers made by Balanced Body, who makes Contrology. They have some really great reformers and the range of prices there and also the length and size. So you can pick the one that's right for you. For more information on the reformer and actually all the details about it, because I do go into a lot more depth, we actually have a video about the best reformer for your home. So make sure you check that out. Also, if you want a reformer workout with me, below in the description, I've got a 30 minute and a 50 minute reformer workout. You can definitely try it out and see how you like it. Now let's talk about the window chair. So sometimes people call it the Pilates chair. I just want to explain to you that there are actually three chairs in the Pilates world. There's a high chair, there's the arm chair, and then there's the window chair. Some people also have chairs that are called an exo chair or MVP chair. All of those are still under the under the window chair family, and you can do a lot of the same exercises. Now the benefits of the window chair are they don't take up a lot of space. <laughs> in fact, you uh, some of the styles you can actually flip over on its side and use as a chair in your own home. So right there, super super awesome. Now. Other things are that it's actually a more difficult and challenging piece of apparatus. It's gonna be more of an advanced piece of equipment. Joe Supplies actually created it as like the first home piece of gym equipment, which I think is so fun. And he would make them for his clients. He was in New York. And so obviously they'd go off to the Hamptons for the summer and they would take their chair with them and they would do their exercises. In fact, a little video of someone doing her chair exercise in front of the TV way back in the 60s and 50s, it's really cool. So the chair, 
is awesome. It's got so many exercises you can do on it, over 70 without us like creating more variations and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So let's talk about the cost of a window chair. You're gonna, you're gonna find some in a variety of ranges, especially some that are made just be a little bit more of an at-home piece. But I will say, if you're gonna invest in this, I really love uh, some of the actual chairs that a lot of studios buy. So you're looking around between a thousand to about thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars for a window chair. So they're not terribly expensive compared to a reformer. Still an investment. My favorite is gonna be the Contrology chair. Holy freaking moly. I have had other chairs, other classical plies chairs in my household. And when this one came, I was in love from the very first time I used it. The springs and the angle of the pedal and the cushion on top really help you engage your muscles right away. You don't have to tell the muscles to turn on. So that's going to be my absolute favorite. We'll have the link for my favorite below. We'll also have the link to Balance Bodies and all of their chairs. They have a variety of them based on the type of collage you want to do. I will say check out mine because it happens to be less expensive than a lot of the popular chairs out there. If you want to do a chair workout with me, check out the link below. We have a 20 minute chair workout and I go live every single Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific time answering your questions. So if you have a question about your chair and how to do exercise on it, I want to answer that. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications and join us on Sunday. So no matter what your Pilates level or experience is, OPC is a great place for you because we really help meet you where you are and we help you use your goals and your needs to apply them to the classes that we have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful and have an amazing day.